quilt brings back good memories. It takes a lot of time to make a quilt. A quilt is an object of beauty. A quilt is a source of comfort and protection. Everyone really walked away with a positive feeling, especially after our visit to the retirement center. So it was much more than just the quilt itself or math. Um, it was a great opportunity to integrate community and service and to interact with people who are living in the Hawaii Kai community. It's very pretty. Yeah. It's very multicolored. You see we have a nice design going there, the alternating design with the alternating color patterns. Even though they're the same colors, they're different patterns. We learned that tessellations are repeated shapes with um, no gaps and spaces. I traced it onto the paper and I kept repeating the image over and over again. First, we created individual block designs. We formed groups and decided which block design we liked the best. We began cutting our fabric pieces and sewing small blocks in class. We had to check to make sure that everything was fitting together and that the designs matched. Some groups needed to re-measure their shapes or they needed to redraw their squares so that the patterns would all look coordinated together. We had to make sure the squares met up right here because I had sewn it and they were off and it didn't look right. So I had to um, take out the stitching and then re-sew it. We had to allow for an extra quarter inch margin around the entire shape so that we would be able to see our sewing line when we sewed the pieces together. We've used math in this quilting project by making a scale drawing, which is a smaller drawing of what the actual product is gonna look like. We had to take measurements and we had to measure out all of the pieces and make sure that each of the pieces is precisely cut like the others so that they would all fit together and if they weren't precisely drawn and cut to scale, then our pieces wouldn't have fit together and it wouldn't have turned out to be a quilt in the end. This project, when we first heard about it, it was kind of exciting because it's sewing and this is math. And but once we started, it's a lot harder than we thought. The hardest part for me was putting the thread inside the needle. And it gets frustrating sometimes. I think the quilt project so far has been very frustrating. I, for me, I have never had sewing experience in my life. And when I try to sew, I always poke myself. Sewing part is pretty easy. All I have to do is just put the cloth underneath and bring this latch down and the needle down onto the cloth. And all I have to do is push the pedal and push the cloth while I'm sewing. We chose to hand sew our design because it's more accurate in a way um, because with the machine you don't really know where you're going and you can't see the, all the lines so when you hand sew you can look at both sides and make sure that all your lines are accurate and that the pattern will be more precise and so it'll look better in the end. During that time we all had to sew like one tree and then while we did we started like talking story and stuff so it was like a really fun way to get to know each other. I think I would leave an opening on maybe one of the sides. So maybe if you started in the middle of your long side and went all the way around, you want to leave an opening, not too big and not too small. Oh, there we go. Yeah. 
So today the majority of groups are finishing their quilts. They're putting on the backing. Um, some groups are putting a border around their quilt. Some are just uh, putting the backing itself together. Um, we have a couple of groups who are finishing pinning and sewing. They've completed their square. Um, they have a total of anywhere between four to eight squares that they need to put together. So we have a couple of groups that need to put their squares together to finalize the front part of their quilt and then they'll be putting on the back. They like going uh, presenting their quilts in the end to the retirement home and just seeing all the joy that it brought to a lot of the retirees, that the residents that live there um, and interacting with the residents there. Um, they also like to see the, the quilts the end products. A quilt is a gift that shows appreciation. And um, we made five quilts in our class, and another geometry class also made five quilts, and they're presenting theirs to phase one. Come up here, yeah! <laughs> and the lucky winner, one, nine, two. <laughs> oh no, they didn't make the picture of <laughs> And they wanted to present um, this quilt to their grandfather who's a resident here. Oh. When you look at the quilt, you see all the unique designs that the creator of the quilt made. You can appreciate it more when someone makes it for you, from the blood, sweat, and tears that they put into it for you.